This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description to the full playlist. And today we're going to be playing around with the cat and echo command a little bit as echo is a command to echo text. And cat is short for concatenate. Many times it's used just to display the contents of file. For an example, I have a file called file.txt. I can say cat.txt, cat, sorry, cat file.txt, hit enter, and we display the contents of that file on there. I also have a file called uh, file2.txt, which just says this is file2. I can also put this together and say file.txt and then file. 2.txt and you can see that it displays the file dot, uh, dot txt and then the file 2.txt but let's say I want to echo out some information and put that before the command uh, before the output of that file so like echo this is a new line I can say that and then obviously I can go cat and put a new command file.txt and it looks like I did it, but we did it in two separate commands, and if we want to output both all of this to one file, uh, we would have to append multiple times. Or let's just shorten it up a little bit, and we can do that by piping information into cat. Uh, so, as I said before, I can file or I can cat two files, but what I can also do is cat concatenate the information from the output of another file. So what I'm going to do is say echo. This is a new line, and I'm going to pipe that into cat, and then I'm going to put this dash right here. Now, usually a dash like that by itself, without any other arguments or anything, tends to count uh, stand for taking the standard input, I'm sorry, it's taking the standard output of a file and using it as input right there. So if I hit enter now, you can see that it has now taken my echo command and put it right there at the beginning of that. Uh, now I can also put it after, and I can put it between files. So I can say file dot, file two dot txt. So you can see that even though I'm echoing first, we're not displaying that information yet. We're putting it into cat, and we're putting the output of echo here in the place of this little dash here. So we now have the output of file one, the output of our echo command, and the output of file two all concatenated together. Uh, and of course this can go in, a, in another order. We can say file2 first, then dash. And we can also put the dash at the end in whatever order we want. And at that point we can pipe all this into a new, or not pipe, but redirect it all into a new txt file. I can cat new.txt. And there you go, we have the output from all three of these different locations. I thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and share and comment on this video. And if you enjoy my videos overall, think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash melex1000. There should be a link in the description. Even a dollar a month would be much appreciated. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.